Hey everybody and welcome back to Legendary Language Learner. I'm Matthew Boyle and in today's video we're going to talk about card commissions for the upcoming card game heading into language land. What this means basically is that you're going to have the chance to really become a part of this game and a part of this world by designing together with me your very own unique game card based on the types of word categories that you want to learn and we can even design a character to represent you in the game. So let's get into it. First of all, where you can learn more is at legendarylanguagelearner.com. You can subscribe on the home page there to know when the game is going to be released. And you can also visit the shop listing that I'm going to create. I haven't created it yet for the card game commissions. Um, you can also subscribe to this channel, Legendary Language Learner, and keep referring back to the playlist I have created called Heading into Language Land. Whenever I make a video about this game, I'm going to put it there. So really quickly, what is Heading into Language Land? Heading into Language Land, or Language Land for short, is a card-based board game that will transform the mundane process of learning a language into a magical adventure for you and your friends. Multiple players with different ages, ability levels, and target languages can all put their knowledge of their languages to the test simultaneously. What's more, you can play solo, cooperatively, or competitively, and the time required to play, as well as the difficulty level, can be adjusted easily. In the game, you get to become one of several amazing fantasy characters, travel freely to visit different locations, meet other characters in battle or to form an alliance, and collect special pickups. All of the people, places, and deadly creatures you will encounter during a game of Heading into Language Land come directly out of the story by the same name, and they all present special word categories unique unto themselves. You must speak or sign words or sentences in your target languages about those word categories in order to win over allies, defeat enemies, raise your longevity, and achieve victory. I'm going to put a link in this video so you can learn in depth how to play this game. I also have a video uh, that explains in just one minute how to play this game. So look for the links in this video if you want to see those or again on the playlist. Now to the card commission. What is a card commission? I will design and produce a totally unique game card for you based on your specifications, requirements and interests which is fully compatible with all the other heading into language land game cards. In other words, you will be able to use your own customized one of a kind card during the game to battle and learn the types of vocabulary that you want to learn most in your target language. The card can be supplied to you in a downloadable print and play version or it can be professionally printed and mailed to you just like all of our other game cards and game decks. Why commission a card? I think this will be very inspirational and motivational to you to learn your target languages. And why? Because the game card is fully customizable around your interests. You will get to work with me to design how the character looks, choose the word categories that you want on the card, choose the special power, uh, the power text that the card has, how it functions in the game, and more. So I think the card commission option will encourage you to tackle the word categories that you want or need to know more about, or to take better advantage of word categories you already know well to kick butt during the game. So, for example, if there are some word categories that you really wanted to know or needed to know, then we'll put those on the game card and you will be more excited to learn lots of vocabulary around those categories because you want to be able to activate your game card and use your game card during the course of the game. There will be some different levels and let's explain what each of the levels mean. So the, in the uh, first level of options for the card commissions, you can supply your own artwork or photograph or a copyright free 
and free to use for commercial purposes artwork or photograph along with the creator's name. And uh, this will be the most affordable or budget option, obviously, because we don't have to hire any artists to create original artwork. You just supply what you want to use on the card. Level two is that we hire an artist to create your vision in sort of a cartoon or anime style. Three is we hire an artist to create your vision in a semi-realistic style. If you look at the heading into language land card game, some of those photos that I've already put out of the cards, you will see that most of them are sort of in this area, semi-realistic, also dark fantasy genre or fantasy genre, although you, you don't have to make it in that genre. Um, and then level four would be the artist creates a vision in a very realistic style. So obviously, as we go up the levels, it requires more time and more money for the artist to create. For this video today, I'm going to give you some examples of the level one category so you can really get an idea of how this might work. So here's an example of a card I made just the other night. And what we have here is uh, a photo that someone has created, Alice Alinari. So this is a photo that Alice posted online and it is copyright free and you can use it as marked to be used even for commercial purposes. And you don't even have to put her name in the credits. But for my game cards, I always put the name of the creator of the photo or the art. I always will, even with you. So we need to know where that came from. So her name is on the bottom. So she created this photo and it looks like she touched it up digitally, did a little bit of digital artwork on it, maybe, I don't know. But anyways, I took this photo to make a game card. This game card is not in the Heading into Language Land 1 game deck. So this exists outside of that. I'm imagining that I am a customer who wants to make my own card. So I decided to name it Fairy. I decided to make it an undead type character. And for the word categories, I chose candy, makeup, jewelry, fairy tales. So during the game, if I rolled a dice and hit that number, I would have to speak about stuff in those categories. So again, you can pick whatever categories you want. You also might want to pick categories that seem like they fit the picture pretty well. Then you also get to choose the power text. So I just made this up. If the fairy is battling at a ma magical location, then you can add one to your battle rules. Now you might be wondering at this point, how do I, how do I know how to create the type of the character or the, the power text? Um, things like magical locations. What does that all mean? I will help you with that because there are certain classes and types of characters and locations in this game. And you might not be familiar with all of them yet, but I will help you talk to you about how we can make it really cool and effective. And then on the bottom is sort of a story text or flavor text just to contribute and build out the world and the ambiance of these characters. So again, here we can make up anything we want. I just made up this line. People just laughed at me when I told them of the usual fairies I saw. How am I supposed to explain this? So it's like he's found or seen an undead, like a zombie fairy, and he's trying to tell the people and they don't believe him. On the bottom is the year of the game, my name, the game, I'm obviously the game designer. Whoever the artwork or photo came from, we'll put their name. And then we'll put heading into language land. That's what hill means. And then we will number all of these user created card commissions that I receive. They will just be numbered. Number one, number two, number three, number four. And uh, they will probably have a little logo like this, like a little person to show this is a user created card. And then I'm only going to share that card to you and you can do what you want with it. I'm not going to sell you know your card to other people maybe in the future we can agree to do that if users who have created all these cards going forward if we want to create a user created deck of cards that might be really cool
But these cards could potentially be very wild in terms of their capabilities and categories. They might swiftly get out of control because I'm going to let the people uh, create any power that they want or any card types or categories that they want. It's going to be very free and open. Another quick example, this is just, I was just having fun joking around. I like tea. This is a photo of me drinking tea in a Chinese tea shop. So I made the tea, the tea taster, a human. Categories, tea type, tea wear, tea company, tea master. If you do not start any battles for three turns, you may gain one LP at the end of the third turn. You can see you kind of need to know how this game functions in order to make the rule for the card well. Now, actually, in this game, you don't have to use those power texts or rule texts at all. You can ignore that to keep the game really simple and focused on the word categories. So that's another unique aspect of this game. You don't really have to worry about or use the rule text of the cards. So it's not something to worry about or agonize over. I can help you to make a special power for your card if you want to. Flavor text, who has time for war when so many delicious teas are available? And, um, you know, it's funny. I didn't, I, I was making this card perhaps too fast. I forgot that I didn't even, uh, I didn't even take this photo. This is wrong. The, the tea master who I was sitting with took this photo of me. So actually, that's a mistake. I need to put her name, not my name. I was just going too fast when I was making this. Okay, but this is just another example. Now, some next steps. You can subscribe to this channel, Legendary Language Learner, and refer back to the playlist about this game because I'm gonna keep adding new videos about the game to that playlist. You can also visit legendarylanguagelearner.com there you can subscribe on the home page and I'll send out, I, I will email a notifications when this game is ready. And you can also visit the shop listing about the game to learn more about it and about the card commissions to learn more about them. The card commissions shop listing is not up yet, but it should be up before the, excuse me, before the end of the year. Uh, you can also contact me directly at legendarylanguagelearner at gmail.com if you're interested to learn more, if you have some questions, or you want to get started brainstorming ideas, just reach out to me directly. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will, uh, I will see you back here next time at Legendary Language Learner. Bye-bye for now.